Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Kadash, double honors to the elders at Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to the Aki and the Swishers world throughout the four corners of the planet. And Shalom to the elect. And, um, real quick, all right, Esau, all right, is being. Uh, 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 let me get this. This devil is being made. It's a lot, yeah. You know, this devil is being made naked on all fronts, all right? Let me get this. Um, so like it bear with me. This is Isaiah 42, Salakia 47. And one, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Yeah, all right, in the dust. All right, and the dust represents... Being in the low place and, and, and confusion. Alright, and that's what these devils are uh being um uh, being brought down to. They're being brought down to a low place. Why? Because of their pride. Alright, and ultimately Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shah is bringing this devil down. Alright? It says, uh uh, there is no throne, O daughter of the child dance, for thou Shall no more be called tender and delicate. It says, take the millstone and grind mill, uncover thy locks, make bare the legs, uncover the thigh, pass over the river. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. And this is what we're about to witness right here with these uh these cup these videos I got. Alright. I'm gonna start. Uh, did I? Uh, what's this? Okay, y'all gonna see this. Yeah, that's not it. This. Shalom, TikTok. Let's talk about the White House. You see, the world has been under white rule for a long time. And the world is getting ready to go through a great reset. Everything's going to turn upside down. The poor is going to rule over the rich. And the dark are going to rule over the white. So, I don't know if you've seen some other videos about all the uproaring that's going on in the other countries, but... You white people have no idea what's in store for you. It's payback. You see, what the white elite did was they caused, over the years, they caused the black man to hate the white man. And now what they're going to do is they're going to slip out the back door. How's the song go? Uh, slip out the back, Jack. Need a new plan, Stan. Don't need no court. Hey, he's right. Right? Because what these elite has done, all right, they really, the elite, the Rothschilds, the Upperheimers, the DuPonts, you know, the Bildenbergs, all right, the, these families, they took all the world's wealth 
all right, and hoarded it to themselves, all right, and really all they gave to these Edomites, these low-level Edomites, all they gave to them was was, was white supremacy and and what you would call um, uh, uh, um, Salakia, white supremacy and um and he and he gave them white privilege all right but what they 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 took all the wealth all right and that white and that white supremacy and that white privilege was what uh 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 that hatred was geared towards you know and keeping the foot on uh on on Jake neck right but what they're going to do is what they're he's going to say what they're going to go out the back door all right and leave you regular edomites down here to fend for yourself all right and it's going to be this is we're coming into to the time of Jacob's trouble race wars and things of that nature all right but these hey, these 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 elites they sold the rest of you devils out ecclesiasticus 4 4 and 5 he that is evil to himself to whom will he be good? He should not. He should not take pleasure in his goods. Yeah. Because, all right. Uh. It's, it says, there is none worse than he that envieth, envieth himself, and this is a recompense of the wickedness. God. So Esau, what? Esau is was is evil to his, himself by way of what? All right. Uh, uh, because really, that birthright that Esau received was the was was really the goal unto the, his whole nation. Like for example, it shouldn't be no such thing as a poor Edomite or a poor white white man, woman or child, because in the kingdom of heaven, or right, it's not going to be a such thing as a poor Israelite. All right, the the the, the lowest Israelite is going to have more money and more riches. Then all the Edomites combined on this side. The poorest of us is going to have more money and more riches than all the Edomites that's rich and f more money than the Duponts, more money than the 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 uh, 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 Bildenbergs, the the the, the uh, you know the the Kill Gates, you know the Warren Buffetts. All right, the poorest the poorest Israelite is going to have more money than them combined. So Esau, what he he ran off with the blessing and hoarded it for himself and gave these regular Edomites, all right, white supremacy and white privilege. All right, and now what he's a and guess what that white that white supremacy was uh, used uh, as a tool to keep Jake, all right, down and oppress. So now, guess what? The tables are about to turn. We're rolling, but uh, that's what they're going to do, is they're going to slip out the back and go underground and let the white people be eaten by the dark people because they're coming with a vengeance. You know, I made a video uh, a month or so ago about women need to stock up on some Vaseline, white women, because, uh, and this guy right here, he actually moved out of America, all right, so he see the writing on the wall, he, he, he's left America, he's not even in America no more. It's a cruel, it's a cruel truth, maybe that's what I need to name my channel, is cruel truth, because... Without y'all's protection, the white man is going to reap his reward double for what he's done to the dark, for the dark man. Thou says It was the evil elite that was in charge of things, but there was a lot of white men that followed suit with that uh, slavery and all those sorts of things, but... Y'all is getting ready to uh, pay vengeance back to the white man for sure. And without his protection, if you're white, the low, his 
locust army is coming for you. Locusts are dark, aren't they? So, you white people, get ready. Get ready. So, yeah, you, so Esau know what it is, man. Let me get this right here. Everybody, listen. That matter of fact, let me, let me yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, let me let this play. Um, see, Esau, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, where is that? Shoo. Where is that? Uh, bear with me. Bear with me. Oh, right here. Good morning from the Crystal Coast of North Carolina. Um, as we face a rise of anti-intellectualism and revisionist history, I feel like it's time to add to my stories, some true stories from my childhood living in the South. I want you to know what you're up against, guys, when you're up against these racists. I grew up in a decent family church going the whole nine yards. But when I was a child sitting around the table with my elders at my grandfather's house, it was quite frequent there would be stories about racist acts. And the one I'm going to tell you today is the worst thing that I ever heard as a child. And it what estranged me from my family from an early age because of the hideous nature of it. It's called the scalding pot. Once, when I was a child, I was arguing something with my grandfather about civil rights, and he just preempted the conversation, and he told a story that he found quite humorous. It was about his neighborhood in northern Forsyth County, North Carolina, near Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and how there was this black man who had done some malfeasance or crossed some sort of line, and all the people in that neighborhood, it was the Box Mountain neighborhood. If you know Winston-Salem, you know that. They were brought together, and uh, there was a big old hog scalding pot. For those of you who aren't Southern, didn't grow up on a farm, a scalding pot is what you put the pork in, the pig, after it's been slaughtered, to scald off the skin and the hair off of the skin so that you can process the meat. It's a pretty grotesque thing. Well, apparently what they did was they took this living black person, and they tied him up, and they boiled him alive in this pot. And everyone in this little neighborhood, it was a big party, big party. And this was in the early 70s. And 